No. Check your badge. Is it your birthday? No, it's not. Try again. Every time it happens, it gets worse and worse. There's nothing more to throw up now. All that's left is crying and convulsing dryly at the same time. This woman's health is failing her. There's not much to do. Not in this damp. A coronary artery bypass graft. Take out his liver and replace it with a new one. Somehow undo 20 years of neurological damage from stimulants. Come to think of it, she does look incredibly tired. Take a deep breath. Best to go. One piece at a time. You only said what everyone else was thinking. Look around. Do you see any women here? You've survived things these kids can't even imagine. They've got nothing on you. There might be a little bile gathering at the back of your throat. But it's just a taste. The source of this issue is higher up the wire. She can't take much more. Her stomach is churning. Soon she will have to go to the bathroom and scream. She can't take much more. Her stomach is churning. Soon she will have to go to the bathroom and scream. In other words, it doesn't mean a thing to true Revacholians. Not that he has to worry about getting old yet. He's sparkling with youth. A radiant demigod. Buckle up and raise your collar. This search is going to be wet and cold. The handset starts slipping from your sweaty palm. Your breathing is heavy. His own heart. This is bad. You feel your right hand on the handset cramping up with pain. Keep it in now. Don't overreact. Breathe. Furthermore, they have no idea how hard it is to simply remove a body from a tree. It's your own fault if you're ill. Got it? Before you say anything, ask yourself, is the woman really able to withstand the truth? This woman's not healthy enough to withstand this level of stress. Maybe you were wrong. She's endured for at least four decades in this world. A little. It's awful. The pain surges through your knuckles and then lingers there, slowly pulsating, reminding you of your mistake. You need to rest. Your body is aching. Getting in here has taken something out of you. Have a seat. Death is scary. You can't just start over again. Or can you? They're bloodshot. She really hasn't been getting much sleep lately, has she? Yes. It's likely triggered by a focal epileptic seizure in your temporal lobe. I don't know. Probably. I'm not a doctor. Yeah, probably. One day. But not this very minute. The elements are rough around here. I don't know about this. Sure. Inside. But outside, it's a tough world. You've got to do whatever it takes to survive. And you do. Question is... Will you admit that to yourself? Exactly. The seagull does what it takes, and so do you. You've got that same spirit in you. When the time comes, you'll push yourself. Own it. Steal hot dogs. Shit in the sand. Whatever it takes to keep going. You see that seagull up there? Remind you of anybody? You. You and the seagull are just alike. Then their paradise became shit city. And what did they do? They became urban survivors, eating burgers out of trash cans, killing and eating pigeons. Good boy. You have. The body remembers. What? Kim? No, it's you. You. You and the seagull are just alike. Exactly. Think about the seagull's story. It's one of endurance and adaptation. The seaside was paradise once. They were birds of that paradise. No time for that sentimental bullshit. They're hustlers getting shit done. They're one pair of track pants away from gangsters, just like you. If you can stomach agreeing, you can turn this around on Everard. And physically speaking, you can stomach it. They cook it alive in its exoskeleton. Yet, he's unperturbed, holding his own. You've just got to grin and bear it. Like a champ. A champ with a rod up his ass. Wouldn't say it's exactly safe now, but financially secure individuals are known adrenaline junkies. 
Lying will get you nowhere. You can't outrun the truth. It will catch up to you one day. Even your body has failed you. It's a miracle you didn't injure yourself. A memory from another life. When you were young and fit, could it be psychological? Because your physical health is fine. You may not be able to take this. Not this time. Not anymore. It's breaking. You feel fractures across you. Out of the cracks comes nothing at all. No king. No man. And no king's man. The cracks were all there ever was. We are a spider web of glass that's painful to look at. And she's turning her head. You're breaking. You feel fractures run across you. Out of the cracks comes anger. And then nothing at all. No king. No man. And no king's man. The cracks were all there ever was. A shit test is something woo men give to men to see how strong their frame is. How confident they are. Fail it and they'll bail for another, more dominant alpha male. It's in their nature. This will keep you nice and warm out there. Good choice. If, a bit goofy looking, the royal lion, Guillaume's kitten, this knocker will last a lifetime and then some. The royal lion, Guillaume's kitten, this knocker will last a lifetime and then some. He doesn't have the stamina to deliver mail on these tough streets, but you, do. Maybe if this cop thing doesn't work out. Ruther, this one might know how to turn back time. Things are not as bad as they look. Sure, you have high blood pressure from metabolizing heroic quantities of ethanol, but you are robustly built. You will survive. You hear your heart pumping, fast and irregular. Your joints ache and you feel old, but still alive, somehow. Merely standing up makes you sweat profusely. Your breathing is erratic. Your own heartbeat in your ears grows frantic and you feel your blood pressure rise. It'll take a few moments for him to recover. With your eyes still closed, the first thing you feel all the way back in the pivoting darkness of your own torso is warmth. You have become a triumph of rhythmoplastics somewhere in a smelly wooden church on the coast of Revachol. The wounds from the war you waged on your body are healing, twist by twist, turn by turn. It's not your moves that are at fault, per se. You almost certainly had a seizure just now, and a much more massive one a few days ago, when you lost your memory. You've got to press on with this case, though. Just take better care of yourself. Don't mix with adolescent drug addicts, maybe. You're absolutely beat. Muscles relaxed and feet like noodles underneath. And you've been recently shot in the leg. As your mind works, the beat recedes from your ears. You hear your own blood pulsing through your head. Nourishing your thoughts with oxygen. The rhythm is familiar. The abstract shapes swelling in the foreground have done so in vain. This is a core matter. The answer in the double kick that moves the milliliters through your mind. The dark thud is the source of all rhythm, the inspiration behind mathematics. The hardcore. Your body is taking a beating from the low frequencies crashing over you. It's making you feel alive again. Wait, they want you to run all the way back to Martinez with that leg of yours just to get some tape. Ouch. If you can keep the vomit in, because it sort of also makes you want to throw up. You need to lower the radiation levels, your stomach thinks. Slurp it. And, let's be honest, there's a little chest pain. The good kind, of course. You may want to blast a nose fed or something. It's meant to keep you safe. The pain in your chest tells you you were working yourself to death to earn that rank. This is a real killer, not some garbage street ammo. You can... Feel it. We were right. This came from a serious weapon. You can do it. It'll be worth it. There's something here. Your heart working overtime. Trying to keep up with the panicked synapses firing all over your brain. Moving liters of blood through you. Panicking. Eight hours, huh? 
seems doable. Your machinery could go the distance if called upon. Eight hours? There's no way. Your equipment would be mashed to jelly. Maybe if you're some kind of beanoclad, you, on the other hand, are a gut thinker through and through. A shameful way to treat a former king. Even one as underwhelming as Frissel. Sounds like their bodies just haven't been crushed enough yet. What delicious power hid within this pathetic mess. You feel better. No, no. Hold on. To what? There's nothing. Not you. You are an eternal machine. Speaking of, your guts seem better days. It's a cesspool of burbling acids and noxious fumes, the kind of thing the government might declare a zone of irredeemable catastrophe. Could it be an underlying condition aggravated by years of greasy meals scarved down between shifts, or the liters upon liters of hard liquor guzzled on an empty stomach? No point in worrying about it just now. Why don't you get back to the story? Be that as it may. It might have been useful to have such a thing for the trials you'll soon be facing. It's a shame you can't get your hands on these ingredients. This jacket is the apex of human evolution. The moment at which man became weatherproof. You know your people's history. You don't need some foreign woe man in a fancy airship to tell you what's what. He seems ill-equipped for wherever he's going. A king should not go about unarmed. He seems ill-equipped for wherever he's going. A king should not go about unarmed. Nothing wrong with raw ambition. No, you should own up to it. Claim it as yours. Forget about the haters. Nothing wrong with raw ambition. No, you should own up to it. Claim it as yours. Forget about the haters. No, you should own up to it. Claim it as yours. Forget about the haters. Nothing wrong with raw ambition. No, you should own up to it. Claim it as yours. Forget about the haters. No, you should own up to it. Claim it as yours. Forget about the haters. Nothing wrong with raw ambition. Nothing to see here but disrespect. The old figure will outlive this pathetic lick of paint. The past always endures. Nothing wrong with raw ambition. A correct appraisal. You're quite shabby. This is your chance. Ask her. Is it really possible? This is all you're going to get out of her. There's nothing more for you here. Yes, yes. This is what you've been searching for. But there is one more Kingsman to confront. You. It's time to face yourself. Mano o mano, the next time you find yourself alone before a mirror, that's where this will end. The final showdown. The lieutenant is right. It's the only way forward. Face yourself, Kingsman. Stop. There's nothing else she can do for you. But this isn't the end of the line. No, there's one more Kingsman to confront. It's time. To face yourself, mano o mano, the next time you find yourself alone before a mirror. That's where this will end. What are you doing? This woman might be your only chance to figure out how to reverse time. Grow a pair. No, no, no. You'll never figure out how to turn back time if you're not honest with her. Explain what's going on with you. Whatever it is about this woman, it's connected to time. She knows the way back. A sudden vibration passes through your small intestine, like a buzzer. Remember, brother, you say the hard things, the good things. Most folks haven't got the stomach for it. But this guy does. He's a bulwark, a defender of the evening lands. He may know how to turn back time. Why would you tell a brother off like that? He clearly knows things. Probably knows how to turn back time, too. Try to get back on his good side. Sure, sure. But that guy, you wouldn't tell it by his looks. But he is definitely a brother. And 
a Kingsman. Ask if he knows how to turn back time. You've given him a minor panic attack. He needs to deal with it. You've given him a panic attack. He's ill-equipped to deal with it. You've given him a panic attack. He's ill-equipped to deal with it. Are you sure you don't already have lung cancer? Thank you for the compliment. We could manage it even in wooden clogs. There are uncanny running reservoirs in this body. God knows why. There is a slight physical revulsion in him while saying that. But he's worked through it in the intervening years. That's right. You're protected in your ceramic carapace. Whatever harm you inflict on that world won't be visited on you. The Firewalker cannot die. The money is probably going to some old, oily, oh yeah, big boy time. This needs you to put your back into it. She'll go out in a hail of bullets if she has to. You've got to act soon. This is getting bad. The torment Lieutenant Kitsuragi is experiencing is worse than your own. He's trying to resist, but there's no way of knowing when he will recover. The torment Lieutenant Kitsuragi is experiencing is worse than your own, but he's slowly beginning to recover. He looks like he's cold out here at the tip of the coast. The jacket is warm, but not for this weather. The wind picks up. Fine sea foam lashes your face. It feels like needles. You can take it. Just raise your collar, detective. Nope. Sorry, you don't. Not this time. Don't think this is a sign of anything other than your heart failing. Yeah. Screaming isn't happening on account of extreme shortness of breath. You're just making it worse. Oh God, it's painful. All you feel is pain and weakness. You have to surrender now. We all do. It gets so dark. You don't even see her face, like you always thought you would. You only see pain and fear. You feel something in your chest, an unnatural pressure. It's spreading to your left arm, your jaw. There's no shame in surrendering now. We all do. It gets so dark. You don't even see her face, like you always thought you would. You only see pain and fear. Very, very bad. This is the end. Bad. No, it's many years of combined self-neglect and self-abuse. This again. Guess we need to return to Mr. Monolith once we've gotten a better understanding of the whole reality thing. He's got a point. You're never going to turn back time if you don't understand how the pieces move. Let's find someone. Rich. That's how you know you've got the basics down. And pick their brain. Clearly, that wasn't enough. You have to do something drastic to get under his skin and open him up. You need to get under his skin first. Get him to open up somehow. All right, let's do this before anyone changes their mind. He's going to live to be 500 years old. Is it some kind of performance enhancement supplement? This again? But you've learned the basics. Guess we need to return to Mr. Monolith once we've figured out what else is missing from the curriculum. Seems like it isn't working, Ruther. Maybe you should try talking to other traditionalists instead. That's an illusion. Your breathing is just as it was and will remain that way unless you start panicking. Tough son of a gun, this one. Respect. Mauled by a nightmare. Bite marks in his bones. He has an idea of what he wants, but he's not giving it away. Sign of a veteran dealer. Able to withstand negotiations over minuscule amounts for days or even weeks. In this vision of hers, you are mutually opportunistic organisms, growing like mold on the streets. And something more. Something deeper rooted, like a sickness. Physically, he should be fine. Or at least no worse than usual. We're pulling the plug on this. Nothing else to be done. Good luck, everyone. Almost gave you a heart attack, that one. Your stomach gurgles. Your chance to track down the reality rhizome has left. Better return to Measurehead.
See what he has to say. Your stomach grumbles approvingly. The reality rhizome is opening up before your very eyes. Your ailing constitution, sweaty forehead, the beads there and your heavy breathing. An acidic smile on her lips. It's getting worse every year. You can take those sharp rocks. This is where the damage came from. From somewhere in the inlet. The cannons. You also feel old. Tired. Hardly able to catch your breath. Your joints aching constantly. That's not a healthy look. Muscles get bigger. Heart grows weaker. Tell him the truth, brother. Even if he isn't hard enough to hear it, you're not. Everything is fine. Suddenly you realize how hungry you are. The last time you ate must have been God knows when. No worries. Just a small setback. Movere tempere, Kingsman. For the tenacious, no road is impassable. Just got to stay moving. Liquid parts mostly, and you're quickly running out of them. There is a major artery on the inside of the thigh. You're bleeding like a pig. But the bullet seems to have gone right through you. Don't go into shock and you might make it. You're thirsty. Reach for the glass of water by the bed. The world is still there. Sleep some more. God, you're so frail. Too frail to think further. Time is running out. Is there anything, anything, we could use to protect this frail body? That gun will tear us to pieces. Digging them. A man his age getting worked up like that? Better watch that blood pressure. He doesn't know anything. He's too old. Doesn't have that fire in him anymore. But no worries. We will carry on. Semper Fidelis. Kingsman. Don't worry. He doesn't know anything useful. The man's almost expired. No fire in him. But you will carry on the flame. Semper Fidelis. Kingsman. Anything is possible. The carabineer is too old and feeble to be useful. But you will carry on. Movere tempore, Kingsman. For the tenacious, no road is impassable. The carabineer is too old and feeble to be useful. But you will carry on. Movere tempore, Kingsman. For the tenacious, no road is impassable. This man seems to be experiencing a mild to medium level of congestive heart problems, either due to narrowing of the arteries or high blood pressure. Should have just eaten the damn thing. Duty, medals, honor, chain of command. I like this guy. He's not a pansy. I don't like pansies. It's his heart. Something moves in your gut. It's almost like a tug. That's our guy. The way he speaks about the war and the bygone days. Kingsman through and through. Ask him how to turn back time. The rumbling in your stomach says there's something not quite right with this one. The rumbling in your stomach says there's something not quite right with this one. The rumbling in your stomach says there's something not quite right with this one. Only the most average survive extinction-level events. That's a known fact. This fool is a colossal waste of time. There's no kingsman inside him. Just self-loathing and entitlement. Let's keep searching. This fool is a colossal waste of time. There's no kingsman inside him. Just self-loathing and entitlement. Let's keep searching. The strength has all gone out of him. Just frail old bones in a sack of tracksuit trousers and a windbreaker. Or maybe it's just his body and mind giving up on him. At last. Maybe don't beat yourself anymore though. You're not immortal. Sweat drips from your brow. Soak in your chest. You reek of it. Your chemicals. There's definitely something off with his body. Something more than just metabolism, or even cancer. There's definitely something off with his body. Something more than just metabolism. The bed is quite inviting, all things considered. 
it's much warmer inside than out there. Technically speaking, you could rest here if you're hurting. Someone else has. It should be possible. Still rather inviting, all things considered. It's much warmer inside than out there. You didn't realize how tired you were. Your body is still nowhere near healed. You didn't realize how tired you were. Your body is still nowhere near healed. Brother, you've managed to collect all the armor pieces. Too bad it's too late for the big showdown. It's going to be hard to say them. Carrying around all that weight on a busted crutch is making you pant. A mediocre athlete would pant from dragging around his body on a busted crutch. But not you. You're thinking about politics with blood dripping down your thigh. Rust, moss, and sea life have already claimed it for themselves and initiated a slow decomposition process. You feel like you're about to faint and fall off the swing. Your hands get clammy and the air tastes sour to breathe. You feel like you're about to faint and fall off the swing. Your hands get clammy and the air tastes sour to breathe. One stroke, don't be so modest. He's having one right now. Fascism, Brota. No, no. When the blood and flesh call, there is no discarding them. Speak true. Do you like the hard stuff? Many things, but it's mostly about trusting your gut. Who does your gut tell you is the source of Rivershaw's problems? It's clear you like the hard stuff, Brota. Yes, them. But also, women. Women. Men of woo. You don't like them. They're insane. Their idiocy needs to be scrubbed off this world with rubbing alcohol. Woo men need to go back to the fucking kitchen. Evening falls. The time has come to take the vow. The vows are blurred and flesh. Lower intestine? The term is metabolic and circulatory system. That's what fascism boils down to. The rest is also important. But the main thing is that woo men need to know their place. Stomach truth. You're having a stomach truth. Okay. Yes, let's call it that. Good thinking. You're going to keep your voos, right? Keep your voos, Brota. Because you've said the hard things that others won't say. The good things. You've said them many times. Quit stalling, Bruta. We're talking about the weakest, worst, most insane thing. The weak link. There's a slow, painful growl somewhere in your intestines, knocking on your alcohol-engorged liver. For the nation, smart. Best not to mention the woo-men too often. That's why you're the head and I am the stomach. It is one of betrayal and disappointment. Of course you are, Bruta. Of course. For the nation, smart. Best not to mention the woo-men issue too often. People are not ready. Feminists? No, it can't be. Not you. No one believes this. No, you don't. It's been too long since this has happened for you to recognize the feeling. Of course. It's been too long since this has happened for you to recognize the feeling. No. Believe it or not, this isn't about her. Well, not exactly. Let's hope so. It's becoming to seem possible that you will solve it. It's your first day sober. It takes a while for that shit to get out of your system and for reality to come back into focus. No, you don't. You're well into detoxing now. Reality is beginning to come into focus. Just look around. Do you know what today is? Yes, you're beginning to see the world for what it is, even through the mental fog, and yourself too. What you've made yourself into. You've shown you can get through two days of detox. You can certainly endure a little more. Don't get too excited. Clarity is still many months away for you. Difficult, confusing, very emotional months. Shall we keep going? You're going to feel all kinds of contradictory, confusing things for months to come. But don't get discouraged. You just have to keep going. Right foot in front of left, left foot in front of right. And together, 
we will walk the wasteland of reality. Because even if you haven't had your last drink or your last line, you will never really, truly enjoy either again. No? Well, it might be, but you don't have your badge. So how would you know? Try again. This one isn't used to being suited this long. She's uncomfortable. We'll open fire just to hurry things along. She's not. She's bleeding out. If she doesn't get help in ten minutes, she'll die. She's not. She's bleeding out. If she doesn't get help in ten minutes, she'll die. She's not. She's bleeding out. In twenty minutes, she'll be dead. Maybe fifteen. She's not. She's bleeding out. In twenty minutes, she'll be dead. Maybe fifteen. He does not sound well at all. He's too banged up himself to talk, talk with you. Not so sure about the last part with all that drinking. Grill him a bit. See how he performs under pressure. It's an image of you that will stand the test of time. People will remember this for an age. Right. You feel the ligament move on your left shoulder and a small, warm drip of blood. It's nothing. Walks are fucking great cardio. Very stable fat burner. Aerobic exercise. The iron smell of blood rises to your mouth. The bloating has gone down since you woke up that morning. The incredible stamina output. The raw, robust stamina output. Watch out or she'll faint. He's exaggerating. It bites, but only a little. No, you can do it. You still have plenty of juice in you before you drop. Phew. Got off lucky there. That could have resulted in a world of hurt. Phew. Got off really lucky. That could have resulted in a world of hurt. Phew. All that nodding was rough on the old neck, close to feeling that twinge. The nodding's reaching critical mass. You can't take this much longer, Captain. Abort. Abort. No. Shit. It's too late. Your neck couldn't withstand all this effort. It's too much. This guy has proved to be a dead end. A dissatisfied growl in your abdomen. But the hard endure and the true kingsman keeps searching. Vions, brother. The night is darkest before the dawn. That's because some of them just don't have the best interests of the colony in mind. Your gut feeling tells you it'd be interesting. This is it. This will protect your mortal shell. Don it and live. Yum. Did someone say topping pie? Garbage. You're a true patriot and you know how it's said. The seren way. The fine way. With an elegant Oh yeah. He's definitely one of us. Smart one too. Tactical. He might very well know how to turn back time. Ask him, but still, he's definitely one of us. Longs for the old days, the old ways. He's likely to know how to turn back time. Ask him. Deep, satisfying rumble runs through your small intestine. It feels affirming. It's a gut feeling. He knows it exists. Fuck the so-called specialists. His spirit may be willing, but his body might be too old to endure the rigors of the coast. More cardio. Let's do this. He takes the dangers and discomforts that come with his work for granted. But just imagine the unforgiving desert heat he's endured. The wetlands filled with venomous reptiles he has crossed. The problem is obvious. You simply can't hack it. You're a failure. It's all too much for you. It's time. Time to see yourself as you truly are. It's going to be absolutely devastating, but there's no way to avoid it. It's time. Time to see yourself as you truly are. It's going to be absolutely devastating, but there's no way to avoid it. It's time. Time to see yourself as you truly are. It's going to be absolutely devastating, but there's no way to avoid it. This idiocy has gone on far too long. It's time to wipe that decadent homosexual grin off your face.
time to see yourself as you truly are. It's time. Time to see yourself as you truly are. It's going to be absolutely devastating, but there's no way to avoid it. This idiocy has gone on too long. It's time to wipe that decadent, homosexual grin off your face. This idiocy has gone on too long. It's time to wipe that decadent, homosexual grin off your face. It's time. Time to see yourself as you truly are. It's going to be absolutely devastating, but there's no way to avoid it. It's time. Your efforts at avoiding this moment have been truly heroic, but now there's nothing left but for you to confront yourself as you truly are, no matter the consequences. Have you really been wearing that decadent homosexual grin this whole time? It's disgusting. No wonder you haven't been able to truly face yourself. Love, time, revocal, all of it. The pressure is putting you on your knees. Now, every night while you masturbate in the ruins of your not-so-great-anymore hall, they're getting pleasured by foreign men with superior testosterone levels and far more advanced sexual practices than your feeble grunt and thrust. Look at yourself. You go about with this mopey look on your face like a dog who's been beaten with an old stick. That stupid expression was your last line of defense. But now even that has collapsed. The combined armies of pain and shit are streaming through your gates, pillaging your stores, carrying off your woman. You've let your guard down. Now, the combined armies of pain and shit are streaming through your gates, pillaging your stores, carrying off your woman. Oh yes, they're all wiped out. Your bushels of grain, your salted meats, your hogsheads brimming with bitter ale, all gone. Your fields have been put to the torch. Your great hall is a ravaged husk. You are bereft. Oh yes, they're all gone. Carried off by foreign invaders because you fail to uphold the most ancient and noble vows. The worst part is they might even prefer it this way. And that doesn't even begin to cover what's happened to your woman. Yes, it should be awful because you failed. Failing is weakness, and weakness is awful. That is the way of the world. No, it's far too late. All that remains is for you to feel bad, because you failed, and there's nothing you can do about it. That is the way of the world. You don't even have anything to say for yourself, do you? Just gonna take it all lying down, why not grab your ankles while you're at it? That's why you never stood a chance. Let this new face be a reminder, an unalterable mark of shame. This is the face of the loser, the face of he who looks at himself and despairs. Now, get out of your sight. It turns out you've already been wearing your true face, the face of the loser, the face of he who could not handle it. Now, get out of your sight. It wasn't enough. You simply don't have what it takes. What was that? Did you just flinch before your own reflection? Yes, you did. There's no use denying it. What's that? Can't hear yourself over the moans of your woemen in the hands of foreigners who play them like instruments. Be careful, or they'll wear you like a sock, Harry boy. Can't hear you over the moans of your woemen. They writhe in pleasure as the foreigners are playing them like instruments. Be careful, or they'll wear you like a sock, Harry. Never. May this serve as a constant reminder of your sacred, unputdownable burthen. Fine. The three of you, all together. Ride an aerostatic into the sunset. The question remains. Will you sacrifice love?
to keep Rivershall safe. It's time you knew the truth, brother. Love. Time. Rivercall. It's all shit. Face it, brother. No one's got the willpower to build her up again. They won't do what has to be done. We keep it buried like a horrible secret. We feed it through the cracks in the floorboards out of a sickening sense of nostalgia. Just enough to keep it alive. And yet, it still comes to us in moments of weakness, unbidden, a source of shame and panic. The bloated whores, schizophrenic anarchists and deformed moneylenders tremble trying to shield their eyes as he, le gendarme en diamant, walks by. A day will come when you need to take a shotgun to that cellar, shoot whatever is down there in the head, and walk away, never looking back. You haven't yet banished all weakness, but you will. We know you will. Remember, Kingsmen are not born, they are made. And the only thing that can unmake us is that which drove us to rise above in the first place. We keep that thing locked in the deepest cellars of our mind. So deep, we forget what it is. While the world burns, the two of you, together again, ride an aerostatic into the sunset. Maybe it will work this time. Spare Revacol, and you'll never hear from her again. Will you sacrifice a second chance at love to keep Revacol safe? It can. And it is. Just a mountain of shit. Every bit of it. It was time to banish that ridiculous expression from your face. And replace it with a perfect reflection of your unyielding resolve. Your noble suffering. It was time to banish that pitiful, sad look from your face and replace it with a perfect reflection of your unyielding resolve, your noble suffering. Now, shout from the top of your lungs. You are the noble sufferer, all of it. Yes, you truly are. Tightness in gaseous form leaves your body. She's lucky to have you watching her sleep. You're a hard motherfucker. Tightness in gaseous form leaves your body. If we didn't know better, we'd say you enjoyed consigning your city to the flames. Face it, brother. No one's got the willpower to set things right. They won't do what it takes. Especially love, brother. Face it. No one's willing to make the sacrifices that are necessary. Not in this day and age. Look deep inside yourself. You know it's true. Because it hurts. You will be free to love Revacol like no one has ever loved her. You will be her champion, and she will be faithful to you. If you can just make this last sacrifice, you will finally know happiness. So ask yourself, when the time comes, can you shoot the past in the head, walk away, and never look back on its rotting remains? Now, open your eyes and witness the small wonder. The HMS modest Kingsman has left the docks. You are neither the greatest nor the strongest icebreaker on the seas, but you are what you are. Now, open your eyes and witness the wonder. The HMS last Kingsman has left the docks. The world will tremble as you smash all the ice in the world. Your heart can belong to Revacol, or it can belong to darkness. As long as it's torn between them, it's broken and useless. Despite doubt, fear, sentimentality, and weakness, you plow ever forward like an icebreaker, tearing through the frigid North Sea. Nothing, not pain, fatigue, hunger, fear, or desire will ever deviate you from the path. Like an icebreaker, you crush all opposition, plowing forward, no matter what it takes. You're tired, afraid, sad, hungry, and in pain. But most of all, confused. Yet, still, 
like a tiny icebreaker, the tiniest boat in the fleet. You plow ever forward. It takes a true kingsman to summon the will to face reality in all its darkness, to stare straight into the abyss and do what must be done. Brother, you have succeeded. Who said anything about giving up? Enough. The Franco-Nigerian Court of Honor has held your naked soul up against the sevenfold sun miracle and looked right through it. Close your eyes and know this is who you are. There's a lever in front of you. Pull it and atomic fire blankets your beloved Revacol. Millions die in an instant, but you are spared. You and the voice in the payphone. Do it if you want to die. The stabbing pain in your chest is telling you. You're hanging by a thread here. Damage seemed neurological. Central nervous system's really banged up. She's trying to avoid the foreigner's part. This is because she's a woman. She may be lying to you. Fuck that cough. It's not happening. The insides of your lungs are lined with tobacco, a powerful antibacterial agent. You are unstoppable. Fuck sleep. Despite the headache and the queasiness, you feel like you've got at least a 10-kilometer run in you. It is possible to live with an injury like that. Makes you touch the back of your skull, wondering if there's one in there. It's a long, healthy trek back to the village. This was mostly about the fucking cardio. Massive cardio here. You'll live till 90, or you get a heart attack from running. He's so exhausted following recent events. He doesn't even have the energy to really get on your case. You smell weakness. He's getting tired of the game he's been playing. It sounds like you're having a heart attack. Whatever you said, it couldn't have been that bad. Please relax. Coughs a lot. A single sentence would wear him out. He can't take the length of the questioning. Keep it going long enough and he'll crack. This is going to take the hard stuff too. Use as much as you can. Rotten human meat ceramic boot soup. Nope, you really shouldn't. Does someone feel like throwing up? I do. A little. Go out and run circles around the building until you come up with something. Whatever you do, don't stand here anymore. Never. Not until the case is solved. And then the next case. And the next. That's okay with the fat man still wheezing there. He couldn't speak if he wanted to. Say what you will. But this kid's hard shit. He might actually make a good cop one day. With considerable pain and a stitch tearing every now and then, you should be able to do it. Through tears and blood and stitches tearing, it should be possible. From time to time. Women. It's the women. Look out for the women. They're oath breakers. Forever call. Always and only river call. With considerable pain and the stitches tearing every now and then, you should be able to do it. Through tears and blood and stitches tearing, it should be possible. His smoking, his hunched back. You have it worse, but he took a real beating. That cigarette has medicinal purposes. Whoa, something wants to come out of you. A bit of vomit? Thankfully, you keep it down because your body does not control you. She's right. Something wants to come out through your mouth. But you can keep it down because your body does not control you. Have you engaged the shit compressor? This task won't permit any looseness on your part, mentally or physically. Uh-oh. Organization hasn't exactly been your strong suit, historically speaking. But just imagine, to go back with the knowledge and the experience you now have, and to do it all over. Do it richtig. This time, to go back with the knowledge and the experience you now have, and to do it all over. Do it richtig this time. Protect the suzerainty, clean up the city, revive disco music, and get her back. You could save Revachon. You could be the man, brother. You were right, brother. Second chances are not about questions. They are about actions. 
Are you ready to start taking action? Rotha, there must be others like you. Men who long for the days when words like loyalty and love meant something. People whose yearning for the past is so great they barely live in the present. Those are the men you need to find. Those are the guys who know. You want to give up on redemption? Revanche? On Revacol? I had you for a kingsman, brother. Back there, in your sleep, all the weak-willed delinquents, dilly-dalliers, foreign money-lenders, insane anarchists, and yes, the woe-men. They've run this place to ruin. Think, maybe you've already met someone like that. Don't be ridiculous. They are all men. Trust me, now we're making bank. A man with guts and a memory. I felt it too. He could be a treasure trove of wisdom. Who else? Yeah, that was a good one. A treasure trove of wisdom. But don't worry, there must be others. Oh yes, Gary is exactly the kind of guy we want. He knows something. Who else? Bullseye. And that's the vibe we're looking for. Those are the people with answers. Now, there is a man who values the past with passion. And you know how the saying goes. He who clings to the past shapes the future. No, not her. She's a woman. Anyone else? That's a good number of traditionalists. It's ample. Let's go see what they know. Four is a good number of traditionalists. It's plenty. Let's go see what they know. Okay, don't worry. That's what your gut is for. Feeling these things out. Let me be your eyes, and when I know for sure someone's got that special something, I'll tip you off. No, brother. Forget about your gut. We've got much more pressing matters to focus on. It's time to turn back time. History will remember us. And this time we don't have to worry about her being kind. Prateria Redia, Kingsman. Charge for Revacol. Charge for love. Sure, Revacol will do just fine without you. Don't worry about her. It has, brother. But we are going to turn back time. A solemn gurgle emanates from your stomach. But you did. Not with words. But you did, brother. The game was rigged from before you even knew how the pieces move, soldier. I will send you back to the time when the sun had not yet vanished, when it was still setting into the sea. The time of the suzerain, the time when love was still possible. There's still all men, of course. Measurehead is exactly the kind of man who'd know how to step back into the past. Where unidentifiable sludge makes it hard for him to breathe. Smells of vomit in here. Your pecs dance. No more sleep it is. A frazzled ride through eternity without pause. Hissing pistons pushed to the extreme. You could force a coin inside you. Any hole will do. Not many more definitive tests of a man's metal than the fortune yawn. He will. He has it in him. Ending him. Natural selection. Hit the pads as fast as you can. Maximum attack. Not even a bullet can get through. She's not lying now. She really is very tired. Her metabolism is failing her. The afterglow of whatever narcotics she's been taking is wearing off. Fragile. Unshielded. Her voice is thin and tired. No, she reached the end of her elasticity about two months ago. From here on out, every chip and nick and blow stays in there somewhere. Why not? You're a powerhouse. Actually, yeah. How? You have mediocre lungs. Indeed, you don't strike yourself like a powerhouse at all. Whoa. After so much drinking and drugs, how did they manage it? Air moves in your windpipe. Your heart beats. You're a detective. Get back to detecting. She must be very cold and exhausted of this life. Points are good. Have one, you old dog, before we all die. I think she's just tired. 
She doesn't know what you meant by that. And can you blame her? Hold up. Don't go it alone. It's a marathon, and you'll need support. Get Kim before you go any further. No love for Muta Aranye? Wasn't he a soldier? You know this. The body goes into a kind of revulsion shock. Murder hangover. That's what it could have been. Kill the kid. Yes. Makes them look for a quiet, dark place and just hibernate there. Usually goes on for a few days, up to a week. I know you don't. But the thought still comes. She was hibernating after doing it. Takes a moment to shake it out of your head. He's breathing heavily. That took something out of him. You could use some. That explains the calluses on your hands. You scale the side of the building, entertaining the local kids. If he doesn't stop soon, he's going to collapse from exhaustion. He's red all over. In his mind, his father isn't vulnerable the way other mortals are. Are you sure you can take on the most violent man in Revachol? In your condition? Teeming with opportunistic microorganisms, letting out a foul-smelling diamine compound. Your eyes turn watery. Soon, you'll be looking for clues in a pile of sludge and bones. He is growing truly tired of it. It's not merely moodiness. His tolerance limit is near. I'm not squishy and permeable. I'm bark, sap and steel. Cast me in ceramic shell, but only for ritual purposes. It would adorn me well. Bring me to attention. It's especially painful this time. You've thrown up so much, there's nearly anything left down there. Hot tears of pain streak down your face. You're crying too. Crying and convulsing at the same time. It's more likely he can handle the smell. Unlike you, you crack open the ammonia ampoule and breathe in. The odor of death is still stronger. It's a spell of the mind telling you to run and your stomach to wring itself empty. With your eyes squinting, you stand in it. The smell is repulsive. It pushes in from your mouth, more instant and more familiar than anything you'd expected, more fever than odor. It fills your mind, flushing you from within. The ammonia only makes it worse. The combination forces tears out of your ducts. You manage to keep it in once, until a pool of vomit lies under your feet and your throat stings from the stomach acid. As you breathe in, the odor comes over you. It's a smell of the mind telling you to run and your stomach to wring itself empty. With your hands at your sides and your eyes squinting, you stand in it. The smell is repulsive. It pushes in from your mouth, more instant and more familiar than anything you'd expected. More fever than odor. It fills your mind, flushing you from within. You try to, very professionally, look at the corpse, but your stomach contracts. You manage to keep it in once. Too late. It's impossible to keep in. Your body curls and pushes it out, burst by burst. You feel a great force ringing from your stomach. Your body curls and pushes it out, burst by burst. The second time, not so much. When the vomiting is done, your cheeks are wet with tears. 